from LA Late Headquarters in Santa Monica, this is Afternoons LA Late. It's a big afternoon of Afternoons LA with incredible great details about your fourth stimulus check update of 2021. And I'm back. In this recording, we'll go over the fourth stimulus check and how much those Democrats want you to have and why there will likely be more checks. Then we'll go over the recon, and I have the details of what is in the recon. It's getting very hot. It's getting very excited, and I'm not referring to the weather. I'm referring to the recon. Then we turn to the vote. Breaking news across the board upon all these items. The infrastructure ready for a vote, the heading to a vote. The bipartisan re the recon heading to a vote. The drafting of the legislation near a finish line. I have all the breaking news of this big afternoon's broadcast. Then we turn to the stimulus, and we'll talk about the raising of your benefits a lifetime and that new inflationary benchmark. More details as your Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, testifies on Capitol Hill today. I'll tell you what his comments were. All breaking. And then we go over the thousands of dollars of viewers continue to get. It's your day to get that big money, tens of thousands of dollars. I'm very excited for you. It's a great afternoon. Let's get to the details. Starting right here, right now, on Afternoons Alight. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. How are you doing? It's a be beautiful afternoon of Afternoons Allied here in Santa Monica. I'm so glad you joined me on a new recording this Thursday afternoon. So much breaking details. How's the weather? Tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather? It's been hot here and it's not settling down. Ah. Oh. Yeah, you could tell some of the flowers have been swapped out because some of the flowers were in uh, just getting clamored by the hammered by the heat. It's just really bad. But hope the weather is good where you are. In this fourth stimulus check update of 2021, we'll go, we'll go over that monthly stimulus check and why those Democrats could likely give you more months of checks than initially thought. Then we cut to the recon. That recon is where your money is, and we have details for the first time on this channel that goes over what's in the recon. I told you there was other money, sums of money in there, and it's a lot. I'm going to go over some of the details. And I'm going to go over when you're actually going to see the details. Then we go over the incredible details about the voting, the voting for the recon, the voting for the bipartisan, the drafting, the deal, what's happening today because they had an informal agreement about something that happened today. And when that vote will start, it's getting very exciting. Then we turn to fifth stimulus and the fifth stimulus heats up by raising up over benefits a lifetime. And what did Jay Powell, the head of the Federal Reserve, say on Capitol Hill today? I have all the incredible great news with that as well. And then we cut to the tens of thousands of dollars of viewers continue to get $25,000, 20000 I get viewers sending me DMs around the clock. I keep on sending them. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollars of viewers continue to get. I'm going to show you how you can get it as well. And this is Ally, America's only 24 hour day, seven days a week financial news channel in America, live in the morning, taped in the afternoon. It's coming up right after the show is a brand new Evenings Ally. And then we go into Overnight's Crypto, a brand new show as well. Then Evenings Crypto, and then Sir Lauren, which is he's always new, even when he's at the, you know, after two cups of ice cream, he's still the same guy. <laughs> Okay. So subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of YouTube record. I want you to hit that subscribe button. Fastest growing channel on YouTube. 400,000 subscribers in one year. Next stop, 1 million. Also, like this video. Two, 3,000 likes. Every like helps. It helps in the algorithm rankings. And also consider becoming a member. The link of join is right under this video. Let's get to the breaking news starting right now. House bill Senate proposal. You know, it was about two weeks ago where I said, well, those legislators may contend the pandemic's over. And during the questioning of Jay Powell on Capitol Hill today, before subcommittees, a Republican said to Jay Powell, well, the pandemic's certainly close to over, but not over. Can you imagine? This is huge because let's look at this. When we look at the House bill and Senate proposal, they are the House bill, pandemic plus one year monthly stimulus checks. Senate to July to December. When we look at the payouts, they are this one thousand after the first month, one thousand dollars after the first month for the uh, House, and then senators monthly unknown. But word on the street is it's this. Wow, deliciousness. Two thousand dollars over six months, twelve thousand dollars, or fourteen hundred dollars over six months, eighty four hundred dollars. That's deliciousness. 
As I just said in the opening remarks, yeah, legislators are now coming around saying what I've been reporting for two weeks, that they're not going to say the pandemic's over, whether it's GOP or, or conservative or, or, or liberals. Now, remember, it's liberals that are giving you stimulus checks. And if this pandemic's not over, then how do we compare the House and Senate? Everything has now changed. We had thought that maybe you were just going to get one year of checks because the pandemic's not over. But now that the pandemic isn't over, then let's compare and contrast House versus Senate. Let's go back to those numbers right now. Here you go. So if it is just uh if the pandemic is over, then you would look, be looking at $13,000. But now that the pandemic is not considered over, then the House bill would be pandemic plus one year, which would be more than $13,000, which compared to this and the Senate <laughs> is a little bit more money. In fact, a lot more money. Vote House of Senate. House of Senate, tell me where you're tuning in from and how's the weather. Vote House of Senate right now. I want to see you in the live chat and tell me how the weather is. There you go. Uh, things changed so quickly, and that's why you got to stay with this channel. Well, who gets this fourth stimulus check? Democrats represent that if you got a third stimulus check, you would get a fourth. Single individual, 75000 or less. Democrats represent you would get a fourth stimulus check. Married couple, 150000 or less. Democrats represent you would get a fourth stimulus check. Double it. Family of four Democrats represent you would get a fourth stimulus check. Quadruple it. And if you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Democrats represent you would get a fourth stimulus check. The fourth stimulus check is not income. It does not, it's not taxable. The fourth stimulus check will be the same amount for adult dependents and everyone else the Democrats represent. And the fourth stimulus check is not waivable. So if you do see the check um, at, the, um, at the happy hour tonight, and he's had a, a little bit too much of Mitch's margaritas. <laughs> And the check gets sort of wavy. You say, hey, check, how you doing? Uh, you get a little wavy there. Uh, it's not a waveable check. It's a wavy check after too much Mitch Margaritas, but it's not a waveable check. <laughs> There's a difference. Uh, don't ask me what's in the Mitch Margarita. I just, uh, yeah, I don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> Democrats represent you would get the fourth to check in the month of July for the month of July without a Mitch Margarita. And in the month of August for the month of August. And they can still get it done. In the second half of this, in the third part of this video, we'll go over why they and get it done by July 4th. And we'll go over the breaking news about the vote for the recon, the vote for the bipartisan, the text for the bipartisan, the text for the recon. Oh my goodness. I got so much breaking news. I literally have close to 45 pages of breaking news stories I got to go over with you. It's a lot on a set. And the, 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 this is a small set. So imagine how much breaking news I have uh, for you. In the second part of this video, we go over the recon, and we go over why the recon now has other sums of money in there for you. I had told you very early on that there would be other sums of money. We have confirmation that there are. In fact, I have the sums of money. Well, not actual cash on the set, just what they are. <laughs> That's coming up later in this video. But first, here's a preview of the fifth stimulus later this, later this fall. Actually, later in the video as well. It go, the Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve, testified before Capitol Hill today. Testified yesterday as well. And he gave us more indication about where inflation is going. And Wall Street reacted to the news as well. And guess what? I was really shocked. They mentioned my inflation rate from this channel exactly to the T. So we'll go over what that inflation rate is and how it could raise your benefits if you're SSI, SDI, VA, a lot. It's great news. But first, let's get some money. Uh, it's a big day. And if you're new to this channel, this is what I do. And I am so proud of you. I get just random DMs on Instagram or a message on Facebook saying, oh, by the way, I got $3,000 for utilities, LA. Thank you. I just, it just it just it just puts a smile on my face. Put a smile on other viewers' faces by jumping the live chat right now and posting your success stories. If you got rent, post it right now in the live chat. If you got utilities, if you got Snap, post in the live chat right now. Here's what's going on. Because of my videos, viewers have now gotten far more than I was saying for rent. I was saying that I can get you about $5,000 four to six months of rent with my videos. Viewers are getting fifteen dollars to $20,000 in rent. Nisi got $20,000 from this channel. She got $23,000 overall. Second, I said that you have utilities. I can get you about three hundred dollars for utilities. Viewers are getting three thousand dollars for utilities. And another one, another viewer sent me a wonderful DM on Instagram this morning. Said she got three thousand dollars for utilities. I'm just so happy for you. Then when we're talking about SNAP, which is money for food, I had said, well, I had a couple of viewers get five to six thousand dollars for SNAP. So maybe that's how much I can get you on these videos. I have viewers getting twelve thousand dollars, like John for his family. Viewers across the board are getting multiple items, like Art Sullivan who got three items, Nisi who got three 
items. Countless viewers getting multiple items, so post in the live chat right now. Get that pen and paper ready, because I'm going to go over the big money I can get from you for this channel. This is what I do. When this channel launched, I launched it because people were not getting paid their EIDL loans and the EIDL grants. I didn't launch the channel to track it because it wasn't coming. I got it for them. I got $25 million of it for them. And then fall of 2020, when people are sitting around tracking checks and making YouTube videos about tracking checks, I said, Second Stimulus is not coming just yet. I need to get you money. And I got people money. A quarter million dollars of rent. And viewers like Tyrone, it changed their holidays. I got them $15,000 for their family to pay their rent all the way to March. But now I'm so proud of you because you're doing better than we've ever done in the history of this channel. You're getting bigger sums of money. So get ready because if you haven't gotten any of these monies or you want to get additional sums of money, I got a pen and paper ready. Re get your pen and paper ready and we're going to go over all the details. You're going to reach out to different places with different eligibility. So if one says no, don't worry. Reach out to the next. Get that pen, paper, or Crayola crown ready. And Canute, this is not a Casey Royal anything. This is just, um, and it's not muddled anything, uh, Crayola. And it's not teal anything, Anne. It's just blue. <laughs> it has nothing to do with a city in, in Missouri. It's just blue. <laughs> So you can have a Crayola blue crown. All right, here we go. You reach out to your city hall, your city housing authority. Your city hall, your city housing authority. Your county hall, your county housing authority. Your state hall, your state housing authority. Keywords you're going to say are rent assistance because of COVID or mortgage assistance or homeowners utilities because of uh, COVID. There you go. You don't say words they don't know, like stimulus or muddle blue or Casey Royals, especially if you're in St. Louis. You don't say that to them. They don't know that. <laughs> And there you go. Uh, and congratulations to Tim and Linda who got this wonderful pot of money. The next pot of money is SNAP. It's what is SNAP. It's money for food. Comes from the Department of Agriculture. How do you get this money? You reach out to the Department of Agriculture. How much does it pay? A fortune. Family of four in Hawaii gets upwards of $16,000 a year. Why so much money? Because of two wonderful executive orders. One from Biden, one from Trump that raised your benefits up 15% nationally between now and December. John, a viewer of this channel, got $12,000 for my videos for SNAP. Lynn Glenn, because of my videos, got it for herself, her son, and her mom. And Gail got it as well. And viewers daily are getting big sums of money. It's no longer five, dollars $6,000 as it was early on. Now viewers are getting upwards of eight, nine, ten, eleven thousand dollars $11,000. So go get it. And you're killing it. Only fifteen, only twelve minutes of the video, and we've gotten fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars for Snap, five thousand dollars for rent at least. You know, viewers are getting ten thousand dollars, and the next pot of money I have for you, for you, is coming back from your states. Two viewers have gotten this one, three thousand, and another five thousand. What is this? This is the overpayment due to computer error of unemployment benefits. The federal government has ordered a return back to you. Where is it landing? Direct deposit. Can you track it? Yeah, call up your state and say, hey, state, where's that money due to overpayment of my uh, benefits? And can you track it with a computer that actually works? works. <laughs> and finally, the wonderful news about that IRS refund check. Yesterday on, oh, I do have the notes in front of me. I, you know, when you have this many notes, you think you're going to miss it. Um, IRS gave us an update this week that the IRS refund check due to unemployment benefits, if you've not gotten it, is starting direct deposit July 14th and paper checks starting July 16th and will continue throughout the summer. The average refund amount is $1,265. Wow. Um, how much is this? Well, I just showed you one detail, but how are you going to get it? When are you going to get it? Let's go over all the details. First, let's say you had $9,000 of unemployment benefits. You paid $5,000 of total taxes of that year, of which $4,000 was the taxes on unemployment benefits. Congratulations, you will be getting back $4,000. Where direct deposit, otherwise in the mail. How have you had that set up? When you just saw starting this month. Can you track it? Yeah. Go to irs.gov, do a transcript search, and 70% of the time it reveals stuff that you never knew. Uh, it, it will reveal some stuff that you never wanted to know. <laughs> It'll reveal the taxes are in your file, the taxes are pay, paid. Really, it, it'll reveal, really, is muddled a word? Or is it myrtled, myrtled blue? Is that the word? <laughs> Uh, dis disagreeing voices want to know. <laughs> and then a reveal. The refund check you're getting. Congratulations to Tim uh, and uh, Margaret and Cod and Michael who have gotten this money as well. If you got to this money, jump in the live chat. If you got in utilities, post in the live chat. But boy, something more wonderful than that is the second part of your four stimulus check update starting right now. Here we go. So three and a half weeks ago, we were in a different situation. We had a massive recon that had roads and bridges in there. And Democrats pulled Democrats and said, hey, you're going to vote in favor of this? Absolutely not. It's too big, they said. So two and a half weeks ago, uh, two weeks ago, last Wednesday, this Wednesday, the President, Nancy, Chuck and Jollop all agreed, let's take roads and bridges out of the recon and shrink the recon. And that became the shrink, 
uh, event, or what I call the split day. That split day put roads and bridges into the bipartisan and kept your money in the recon. Now, for the first time on Afternoons LA, I want to go over names because names are becoming a big issue. In fact, I even have an article about how the president keeps on changing names. Not my fault, but I do feel the pain that some viewers are having by confusion of some of these words. I even have confusion with some of these names. So we have two paths, recon and bipartisan. Let me go over the multiple names that are being used for these same things. Recon is also called reconciliation. It's also called um, fourth stimulus. It's also called budget bill. <laughs> and it's also called the democratic thing. <laughs> if you have any, if you see any quote from, uh, from uh, Bernie Sanders, it, it's regarding the recon. <laughs> if, you have, if you see any quote from Nancy or Jalapal, it's regarding the recon. All right, the bipartisan. The bipartisan is also called the infrastructure. It's also called um, uh, the, um, the roads and bridges. And if you see any quote from Mitt Romney, Mitch, um, Kristen Sinema, um, Lisa Murkowski, it's this one, second one, the bipartisan. The two items together are now called Build Back America Better, as if we didn't have enough names already. <laughs> it's just crazy. Um, and the reason why it's important to know these names is because I'm getting people, uh, viewers, some viewers are getting very confused. And they're sending me d uh, private messages saying, I saw that infrastructure and there's nothing in there for the American people. Because there is nothing in the infrastructure. That's the bipartisan. Your money is the recon. Another way to recognize the difference between them is the one that's really small in dollar value is not yours. So the infrastructure is like one trillion and yours is 3.5 trillion. So if you see something that says one trade, oh, that's not mine. That's that cheapo thing that has nothing to do with me. Road and bridge. I don't own a road and bridge. Uh, and I don't even play Monopoly. <laughs> How do we get to this wonderful spot? We got to this wonderful spot by taking roads and bridges out of the recon, which now made the recon passable. What does passable mean? It means that before they took roads and bridges out of the recon, the Democrats were not going to vote in favor of it because it was too big. But by taking roads and bridges out of the recon and making it shrink, it now became passable. We had that confirmation from a uh, conservative print media, an op-ed, very beautifully written, that said the higher the price tag was on the recon, the harder it was to pass. There you go, confirmation. But by allowing the Democrats to take out some of the spending and put it of the recon and put it into the bipartisan roads and bridges, it made the overall price tag of the recon smaller, obviously. In other words, the bipartisan deal made the recon passable. <laughs> sorry, Mitch, sorry to set you up. Now, here's how life has really changed in a little less than 24 hours. A, I'm back, so it's really nice to be back. But B, um, the second part of this quote talked about why the GOP should not bless the bipartisan because it's just going to allow the recon to pass. Um, even the most conservative of conservative publications have now said that Mitch McConnell is loving the bipartisan and that it's a new spirit of Mitch McConnell because Mitch McConnell understands that the bipartisan is so good and that so many Republicans support the bipartisan, that he's really backing off because he had said just a week earlier, I'm going to do everything to block Biden on everything. He's not doing that on this. And you're going to see later in this video that the Republicans are ready to call up a vote on the bipartisan within just days. Yeah. So life has really changed with a real big support for the GOP for the bipartisan. Uh, now, now that the recon has been shrunk, I had told you over two weeks ago that the progressives were adding other sums of money in there for you. And we now have confirmation that that money is in there. My reporting has been confirmed once again. We had been told by Representative Elon Omar that they we have a commitment that regardless of what happens to the bipartisan, that the Congress will give us a recon that goes as big as we want it signaling that more money was being added. It has been added. And that Representative Richie Torrey said that unless the recon is big enough, he's not voting for it, he had put it housing in there. And that the progressives were meeting daily with the White House to, uh, Progressive Caucus to put more items in there. How could they do these things? Because the recon is protected by the progressives. We got that confirmation from Brian Schatz, Democrat of Hawaii, who said that the White House considers the prior progressive priorities in the recon their own priorities. And Jalapal. To which I want to go over what is the recon. The recon stands for reconciliation. It's a bill. It's actually two bills, the reconciliation procedural and reconciliation substantive. I'm really just talking about the substance. And the reconciliation is written by Democrats for Democrats to be passed by Democrats. Everything in the reconciliation is people's is checks for Americans. 
the whole thing, 100% is checks for Americans, all different types of checks, all different types of relief. Um, and the ability to do this is because it is a partisan bill. It's only for Democrats, for, for Democrats. How is it written? It's written in House subcommittees as the lead authors with the Senate subcommittees overseeing it. All Democrats with Democrats. Those House subcommittees are delegated subjects based upon the organization of the House subcommittees on the Constitution. So, for example, House Ways and Means are responsible for stimulus checks. They're also responsible for unemployment benefits. And those subcommittees have no constitutional requirement for transparency. They don't have to show you what they've written. They have to show you what they put in there. They have to show you what they've voted on. When they're finished, those ten, those several subcommittees, let's say there's ten, and let's say they have ten page, let's say they wrote ten pages, send those pages up to Nancy. She combines them, and that's a bill. What's important to understand, I'm going to insert this really, I think, for the first time in this part of this video, is a new report today that says, hey, we do not have the details of what's in the recon, per se. We just have sort of overview of a few things, and that the recon authors and the people behind the recon are intentionally doing this. It's not like they like it's slipping up. They intentionally do not want to show everything that's in the recon yet, which is great. So I want you to understand the news cycle of what's out there. Later in this video, I'm going to go over some of the items that are in the recon. It's not an exhaustive list. So you will not see the write-up of the items in the recon today. You will like, not like to see them tomorrow either. But I'll give you an update when we'll see the items in the recon and then what happens next. All right, so... How do we get to that wonderful spot? This wonderful spot by Jalapal. Jalapal and Richard Schumer are saying, Chuck, call the vote. Chuck, call the vote. The vote uh, and the letter was signed by 12 House Democrats among the 100 plus who had written Chuck a letter saying, we're going to be putting monthly stimulus checks in the four stimulus package. That's 100 of them, not just a few. And that letter can be topped by this one. Seven House Democrats had written the president letter saying, we're going to put monthly stimulus checks in the four stimulus recon when we write it. Well, who are these people to say that? Who are these people? They're on the House subcommittee of House Ways and Means <laughs> that writes stimulus checks that are solely exclusively responsible for writing stimulus checks under the four stimulus recon. They wrote your third stimulus recon check. They represent they're doing a monthly four stimulus recon check. And they represent they're doing a fifth stimulus recon check as well. you got to push purple power and ensure they keep their promise. Can we top that? We can. And as the president has now got his international corporate tax rate minimum a final international law. Huge, huge game changer. Recon, the four stimulus recon is now easier to write because you don't need this provision about the international corporate tax rate in there. It's in an international agreement. You had seen the um, ceremonial signature with the president overseas three weeks ago, but the formal signature just happened days ago, this week. And so now it makes it easier to, to write for stimulus recon, easier to call the vote, and easier to pass it, anchoring for stimulus to the edge of the finish line. Wow, can we top that? We can. In the third part of this video, we got so much breaking news. We're going to go over first the wonderful news about today's self-imposed deadline by Republicans and Democrats for the bipartisan for its deal provisions, then the vote on the bipartisan. It's getting very exciting, folks. Then we'll cut to the recon and the provisions of what are in the recon and the date to vote on the recon. It's getting very exciting as well. And then we'll cut to fist stimulus as the rate of your benefits a lifetime because of uh, the fist stimulus and the new benchmark of inflation. I have all the breaking news as Jay Powell spoke out about this as well today. But something more wonderful about that <laughs> is the volunteers. If you need help with rent, utilities, internet, or SNAP, please get it from the volunteers if you've tried and can't get it. It's important to post in the live chat the monies you got for several reasons. One, it inspires other people to go get it. And so it inspires them to go get the money as well. If they've tried to get it and they can't get it, then they feel, okay, I see other people get it. Maybe I need to reach out to the volunteers. It also inspires people who may have gotten one item to go get the other two or three items, like Art Sullivan who got three items. And it also updates me about the numbers so we all see the numbers. So if you've been inspired to go get this money or you want the money, <laughs> I think it's vote, reach out to the volunteers. They're salt of the earth. How do you find them? Open the description of this video. Go down the description. There you'll find a link to the community page, news.la.com forward slash community. There you can find details about the volunteers. They're separated from Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Reach out to them. I'll help you get that big money. And I'll be back with you in 60 seconds with a huge update on this big afternoon's broadcast. I'm excited to be back about four stimulus and fifth stimulus. 
If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. Home LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement continues on this big afternoon's LA broadcast as we surf into the exciting details about the vote and the bills. For Simmons is heating up this afternoon and I have all the breaking details in this third part of this video. We'll be going over the vote on the recon, the vote on the bipartisan, the drafting of the recon, and the drafting of the bipartisan. We also cut to fist stimulus as the raising up of your benefits a lifetime and that new benchmark of inflation with breaking news from Jay Powell on Capitol Hill. And this is Allied, so subscribe. 400,000 subscribers a YouTube record. Next stop, 1 million. I want you part of this family. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes. Every like helps. And consider becoming a member. The link's under the video where it says join here. Coming up next is Evenings Allied. Stay on this video. It'll automatically take you there. And then we go into Overnight's Crypto and Sirloin at 8 o'clock. Let's get right to Fifth Stimulus first with the great news from Jay Powell and the shocking detail. As Wall Street analysts confirmed my number today, I was really surprised. So fifth stimulus will involve that SSI and SSDI reform and raising your benefits a lifetime, then removing the asset limit, adding the inflationary benchmark, removing the marriage penalty, and removing the income exclusion. What happened today? Well, Jay Powell appeared on Capitol Hill yet another day. And what did he say yesterday and what did he say today? He said collectively that he still believes that inflation is going up and that's still going to reach its highest price point in December. Now, Wall Street analysts looked at his numbers, didn't agree with his numbers, but they offered a number. And they said, my number, 5% inflation by December. <sighs> wow. So I'm going to stay with the two parts put together. Jay Powell saying that inflation is going to reach its highest price point in December. And Wall Street's analysts and my analysts uh, uh, estimate that inflation is going to 5% in December. Let's go over how this works. First, your benefits will be raised up lifetime under the stimulus. This is you if you're SSI, SSDI, Social Security, railroad benefits, veterans benefits, survivor benefits, SSA, or multiple beneficiaries. Then they'll apply a new benchmark. The new benchmark is inflation. Um, that benchmark is applied at the end of this year for next year's benefits. Now, I just explained to you that inflation is going up and around the time that they apply that benchmark. And how high? Well, let's look at that 5%. If it is 5%, your benefits will step up an additional 5%, not just next year, lifetime. Because once your benefits step up, they never step down. If inflation the year after that is 1%, then you'll be a plus 1, plus 5%. Wow, that's wonderful news. Next, they're going to remove the asset cap. Dating back to a 1980s law that says you can't have more than $3,000 on hand. Now you have room to have some, um, some muddle blue in your hand. No, 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 no. It's time to have some stimulus checks and some Crayola blue in your hand. <laughs> then they're going to move the, asset, the income cap. Dating back to a 1960s law that says you can't work and stay on benefits. Now you'll be able to work if you wish and also stay on benefits. And finally, they're going to get rid of the marriage penalty. Love is going to win and you'll be able to marry your longtime love interest. You'll no longer fear the marriage penalty or lose benefits because of the marriage penalty. It would not be retroactive. But viewers like Rob and Sandy will no longer have to worry about the marriage penalty. Now, also on the fifth stimulus, those House, Senate, those House Ways and Means subcommittee members have also written to the president. They're doing a fifth stimulus check. 
This would be going to a vote in around November or December, marking up in the legislation starting September, and going out in 2022. They would not overlap with the 2021 check they represent they're giving you. Also, the president has dedicated $1 billion to Social Security Administration. This was before his firing and commissioner saw. This is to ensure that your benefits uh, come on time to ensure you get your third, fourth, and fifth stimulus checks as well. Meantime, if you're missing a stimulus check, you need to file, you need to do two things. File a tax return and request that missing stimulus check on the tax return. If you've done neither, make sure you do that. And finally, if you're wondering how are all these people in the live chat who have a purple emoji next to their name, how did they get that emoji? And how are they getting all these big sums of money? By becoming a member. Under this video, it says join here. It also has in the description of this video, member, also in the top of the chat. By becoming a member, I deliver to you daily, personally written by me, from the YouTube community page, a breakdown of all the big monies that's available for you under Third Stimulus. And you have been such wonderful viewers. You have learned from Second Stimulus with me that each time the stimulus package is passed, there's tens of other thousands of dollars in there. And viewers are getting fifteen to $25,000 from this channel, realizing that's a lot more than a Second Stimulus check of $600. And that's why it's important to know the big money under third stimulus and to become a member so you learn it. And with that, let's go into four stimulus right now and learn what the other sums of money are in there as well and all the breaking news going into this big evening. Boy, the final 15, here we go. What happened ever happened to that July 4th deadline? The July 4th deadline passed because Nancy and Chuck had said at the time they're going to call a vote for the recon by July 4th. That was the original recon that had roads and bridges in there. They asked their Democrats and said, no, I'll vote against it. It's too big. Take roads and bridges out. That's why they didn't get it done by July 4th. Which July 14th, which July 15th? That was the children's check on a third stimulus. This is a fourth stimulus check video. And those third stimulus check have already landed with my viewers. Congratulations. I won't be covering the third stimulus children's checks. Um, next, where is the bipartisan and where is the recon? Let's do the bipartisan first because this is just sort of refreshing. Um, the president was correct in thinking that he was going to get Republicans to agree to a bipartisan that is only roads and bridges, and that strategy worked. Now the Republicans are really very excited about the roads and bridges, and they have a self-imposed deadline today. <laughs> Uh, the self-imposed deadline is that is that the bipartisan, which is the roads and bridges or the infrastructure, the 1.3 trillion approximately, will be they'll get they'll get an agreement upon the deal terms by the end of the day. Now you don't care about these deal terms because it's roads and bridges. You don't own a road and you don't own a bridge, so you don't care what the deal terms are about which bridge or which road because it doesn't concern you. You just concerned that they get it done because you've been watching my videos. You understand that the way the voting works is the following. The recon has to go for a vote first or concurrently with the bipartisan. And there's enough Democrats who've already said over the last few weeks, you can't call the recon for a vote in July 15th and then call the, the bipartisan for a vote in November. They won't agree on that. So you have to have the bipartisan done. Viewers have understood that very quickly from my coverage on this channel. So the great news is that the self-imposed deadline by these Democrats, they may get to this end of the today in which they, tr uh, not Democrats, bipartisan group, in which they try to agree on the provisions of the roads and bridges infrastructure, and they're hoping to get the vote done next week. Now, there's a lot of um, middle-of-the-road, non-conservative, non-liberal publications that a vote by next week for the infrastructure might be a stretch. It could be possible, but it might be a stretch. If it's not next week, it's definitely the week after that. Um, Senator Lisa Murkowski, Republican of Alaska, was very excited. Says they're, they're getting, getting it done. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Kristen Sinema, Democrat out of Arizona, says it's very productive. Says they're getting it done. And um, great comments from Joe Manchin praising the whole process. And then there's Mitt Romney, who's always sort of the voice of reason here. He says, we hope to get most of the issues resolved by Thursday today. But there will always be extra issues later on. And so this is huge. Um, so that is the, uh, the roads and bridges. And yeah, I did mention earlier in the video, but I'll mention again. There's, a, there's a, an article out on a conservative publication today talking about how this is sort of a different type of Mitch McConnell. Has how somehow his caucus has got to him and say... Comment down on this one. Don't come out and oppose the bipartisan because you have too many Republicans in favor of it. It doesn't look good for you. So don't come out against this. So there you go. Mitch has nothing to do with your recon, remember. It's only the bipartisan he can implode. 
And he's not doing that. So great. All right. So then we go to the recon. Now, Chuck Schumer and the Senate Democrats had a major milestone on Tuesday night. What was that milestone? They agreed upon the price tag of the recon. And the price tag is $3.5 trillion. This is great news for two reasons. One, the way they get the bill done is first by agreeing on the price tag. And once they have the agreement on the price tag, then they can say, okay, from $3.5, we're going to give $200 over here and $100 over there and $300 over there. Because they already know what they want to put in the recon, but they don't know how much money they have to spend for the whole recon. That's the great thing is that procedurally they got an agreement. Number two. Is the number. The number's a monstrosity. So there's a lot of room to do a lot of things with $3.5 trillion. It's a lot of moolah. So this is wonderful news. And of course, there was all these wonderful quotes by Chuck and Bernie, and it just goes on and on, saying this is a historic day in the American economy, American landscape. There'll be tons of relief for the American people. So what's important for you to know is that Bernie and Chuck in those quotes wanted to make very clear that the American people will have fortunes of money in the in the recon for you. And I think this is very important to pause for a second because so many of us went through such a false narrative and such a pushback from the naysayers for months about this about this recon. It was confused because of the roads and bridges and people said, eh, there's nothing in there. It's just roads and bridges for you. Once they separated, it was a clear messaging that the recon is only money for the American people. And now Bernie Sanders is sort of laying it on thick to make it very clear. Hey, I got fortunes of money for you, for the American people in this recon. There is a massive amount of money, a historic amount of money for you in this forced stimulus recon. Okay, so now let's go to what is in the recon. All right, so first I want to explain something. Early in this video, I talked to you about how those subcommittees in the House do not have to show you what they put in there. I need you to understand that I don't care if it's a conservative publication or a liberal publication. They all agree upon one thing the authors of the recon will not be showing you what's in the recon to the very last second. They're keeping it under cloak and dagger. So do not say something like, I haven't heard. Well, the reason why you haven't heard is because they're not telling. <laughs> they haven't told you, because, and there's actually articles that say they haven't told us because they're intentionally not telling you. Um, there's a lot of reasons for that, but I don't think it's time to go into the reasons why they're not telling you because it's not final. It's not final, first of all, but there's a lot of reasons strategically not to tell the American people what's in it until it's done, and it's not done, done, done. Now, in a conservative publication that wanted to trash talk the recon, they got some of the details of what are in the recon, very vaguely phrased, but wonderful because there's a lot of money in here. Money for free school meals for all children. Tax breaks, lots of tax breaks, cheaper prescription medication for tons of Americans, including those on Medicare, immigration reform, greener farming, lots of stimulus for farmers, um, money for elections, lots of money for free internet. <laughs> There's one thing I, I get the attention of viewers, free internet. Yeah, oh my God, free internet. And the big eyes come back. <laughs> yeah, they intend to give money so that c local governments, local cities can run their own free internet company and give you free internet. Yeah, you heard me right. I, th that was not a paraphrase. I just, it's incredible. It's wonderful. Clean energy perks, money for fr free er for clean energy, money for unions and, and their workers, Medicare expansion so that you have vision, ha hearing aid, and dental covered, and a lot more. Again, this is not an exhaustive list. This is just a list that came out of a conservative publication that wanted to trash talk it, but it gave us an insight about some of the provisions in there. So what should you think going into this afternoon? Well, things are getting, as to the, as to the time element, I'm very excited. The time element is key. Um, as to the details, you have to push. So let's go over the time element. You and I certainly knew that there was one thing that was distressing to us, was the ability to hold up the voting on the recon because the bipartisan voting was not happening. Now, the Republicans have said, we're going to get those voting done right away. Between you and me, you know why they're doing this? Because they want to go on their vacation. They want to go on their vacation. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't want to say it too 
derogatory towards them, but they do really care about their vacation a lot, maybe more than other things. Yeah, I just have to say that. Um, so they want to go on their vacation, and they don't want this to interrupt with their vacation. Yeah, um, so, yeah, I just have to, I have to say it when it is. I mean, that's it's always the case with these people. So they want to go on their vacation. They want to get it done. So the the bipartisan group wants to get this this done, and uh, they want to get it to a vote next week. Most don't think it'll get done next week. It may get done the week after. But that's huge because remember recon goes for a vote before bipartisan. When will we see the 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 ledge the bill of the recon? Hard to say, but we're really in a tight frame now. Maybe within seven days, maybe within five days. I mean we're getting really, really tight here. You see that the bipartisan vote, you know, no later than not this week, but the week after, is what they're saying. Again, not my representation, their representation. Which would mean the recon would be a vote as, as early as next week, potentially, and or as late as the week after. And that the legislation, the actual bills, will be seen as early as next week and as late as the week after. So we're within a one to, we're within a one to two week time frame to see all this stuff done. Very, very exciting. And it's important for you to push. Now that the Democrats have dedicated $3.5 trillion to spend on everything, you need to look back and say, hey, we got so far LA, but we got to make sure they put the money in the right place. They made promises to make sure that there's monthly stimulus checks in there. A hundred plus House Democrats wrote a letter saying they're going to put monthly stimulus checks in there. The House Ways and Means Committee said they're going to put monthly stimulus checks in there. So you got to push on all fronts. You can't assume that they're going to do it. You can't assume that they're not going to change their mind. You can't assume that they're going to say, okay, monthly is now just three months or, or stimulus check is now $1. You know, uh, it's not a big number. It's a small number you got to push because people are fighting for their items. And when legislators are in there fighting for their items, one's going to fight for, you know, their clean energy. Someone else is going to fight for their farmers. And someone else is going to fight for, um, you know, their unions. And someone needs to fight for your money. And it's us. So go on social media, push Purple Power, hashtag MSE, hashtag Purple Power. Call up your Democratic senators. Call up your progressive senators. Tell them why you need money. This is not about when it's going to land on my bank account. Tell me when, where, when. No, you need to tell them, I need it. I need it. We deserve it. This is what's going on with my community. This is what's happening with my family. This is what's happening with our town. We need it. And we need that monthly stimulus check in there. As WR, a wonderful viewer, two weeks ago on uh, noontime, jumped in the live chat and said he called up Senator Coons, Democrat out of Delaware. One of Joe Biden's closest confidence, part of the bipartisan group, but of course part of the recon group, said to his, spoke to his secretary, said, I want to tell you why we need recon checks in there monthly. And the secretary said, Senator Coons is, uh, is already writing up legislation to put monthly stimulus checks in the recon. But you should not sit back and hold up the door and say when, because ultimately people can take things out. There is a 12-step voting process at issue. Here are the 12 steps. It's three rounds of four. Senate subcommittee, Senate floor, House floor, president. Recon procedural, recon substantive, and bipartisan. 12 steps. Doesn't take 12 days, but certainly 12 steps. And along those ways, they can always make changes. So remember, until we're at the actual finish line and over it, you need to keep on pushing. Because it may not be in there, it may be in there, it may be in there, and may be starting to head out of there. So keep on pushing to keep it sure that it's in there, and it's big and bold across the board. Also, push for all the other items that you think that deserve to be in there. Whether it's essential PUC, PUC, FPUC, UA, well, UA, PUA, <laughs> a student loan debt forgiveness, mortgage forbearance, eviction moratorium, anything else that you think deserves to be in the recon, make the push to put it in the recon. This is a very big and bold bill, and they want to have a lot of money for you, so make the push. And with that, stay here, because coming up next is a big night of evenings at LA, followed by Overnight's Crypto and then Soloin. I don't want you to miss any of those videos tonight, so with that, subscribe. 400,000 subscribers of a YouTube record, next stop, 1 million. Hit that subscribe button right now. Like the video, two, 3,000 likes, and consider becoming a member so you learn all the big sums of money that are available for you under third stimulus. Stay informed, stay focused, have a beautiful afternoon, and I'll see you on Evenings LA.